Hello guys, uh, welcome to one of my very first video about GPU modding. I am recording with my phone so I do apologize if the sound uh, doesn't come well to you. But for this video I do have a 3080 Founders Edition GPU uh, which I bought uh, brand new so it comes straight from a new box and uh, unfortunately probably for the silicon lottery the temperature for this uh, GPU uh, were really high. As I do for all my GPU I try to change the thermal parts uh, straight away and for the 3080 uh, Founders Edition uh, GPU uh, usually I do use um, 1.5 millimeters uh, thermal parts. For this uh, GPU I'm going to do um, a different mod which is I already um, made for a previous uh, 3080 uh, Founders Edition and I got a 24 uh, degrees uh, VRAM temperatures drop. The modification that I'm going to do for this uh, GPU involves um, copper shims or copper pads or copper plates whatever you want to call them and my previous GPU uh, they use those ones same thickness as the thermal parts. Those uh, copper plates come in different thicknesses and sizes. Those ones are 15 millimeters for 50 millimeters. The one on the right is a, a 1.5 millimeters and the one on the left is a one millimeter thick, as you can see. Before I proceed um, with the modifications, there are a few things uh, to point out. First of all, uh, those pads, um, they come with a very sharp edge and I would suggest to take that off before you do any mod, anything at all. Otherwise, there is the risk that you're going to uh, ruin your VRAMs. So, as soon as you have removed all the sharpie edges on your copper plate, uh, the second step is uh, to protect uh, the card uh, and all the parts around the VRAMs with Capton tape. At this stage, I already started. Uh, Capton tape is um, this kind of tape you can buy on Amazon. It comes in the different sizes as well so you can work it in different ways and uh, I'm going to use this to protect everything that is around the VRAMs because if it should happen but if this copper plate moves slightly from the VRAMs to the micro circuitries I'm going to short my card the way I'm going to do this is uh, to first put a uh, captain tape you know all the verticals around the VRAMs then I'm going to do all the horizontals around the VRAMs then I'm going to put captain tape and on the side of the R22 modules that is facing the VRAMs so I, I will do this side but not this side and here I uh, will do this side, but not the other side. When I say this side, I mean this. This side, literally here. When you place captain tape on your card, you really wanna take your time to do it. Don't rush it. Make sure that everything is done properly. And the very first step is to make sure that everything is done correctly. I will say this many times during this video but if you do make a mistake and you forget to cover something and then you place your copper plates and the copper plates for some reasons moves and touch anything on your card that are not a VRAM, you may short your card and literally lose your card. I do assume you know how to get this stage so the way how to open your card and how to replace thermal parts normally but for this modification we are going to follow some specific steps without further ado uh, first step uh, captain tape all around your card then uh, you need a thermal compound uh, possibly a very dense one then of course you need your uh, copper plate 
and for this specific modification in combination with this one millimeter copper plate I'm going to use a half a millimeter thermopath literally this brand I only buy this brand I like it a lot this is not really soft pad some people don't like to work with it I really like it actually uh, the reason why I'm going to do this is simply because in one of my previous um, 3080 I actually use a, a 1.5 millimeters a copper plate instead of the uh, 1.5 millimeters uh, thermal pads in combination of course with a uh, thermal compound so those two must go together you cannot do this without this because you may show to your car or, or to be more accurate you're gonna have high chance to ruin your car there is a reason why so the thermal compound is not electrical conductive the copper it is so if you take the copper and you put straight on your vram and you put that uh, something might happen in between the components it, we don't know but it might happen you may show your card in this way so when you take the thermal compounds and you put on top of the vram properly literally in the same way how you would do with the core so you're going to use a spatula to spread it properly and then you put your copper plates on top of that the thermal compound will actually work as a shield once you've done your verticals you want to do your horizontals as well this is how it should uh, look like and after you've done uh, this very first step, you want to cover everything that is around the places where you put the captain um, tape already, just to make sure that everything is well covered. For the next step, thermal compound. But just before doing it, uh, simply because I already placed the captain tape where I want, I'm going to uh, try the copper plates straight on the VRAMs just to make sure that everything is on the right size and that everything looks as it should be. Once I have the um, copper plates in place, I can get the um, thermal compound which will go under the copper plates on the VRAM, then the copper plates on top, and on top of them. I will place cut to size half millimeter uh, thermal pad. The way how I do the thermal compound is the same way that we use for the core. So I will do the cross and the four dots. Uh, of course, doing that on the V round, which are really small, it's quite difficult. But if you have like a little bit of patience, you're gonna do really well as I did. That is great. And then I'm gonna use a spatula to spread it like properly because I want to make sure that when the copper plate goes on the top, the side that is facing the VRAM is fully covered of thermal compounds, and this will help to fill any micro gaps that, of course, the human eyes cannot see. When you're done with the thermal compound, you should get something like this. Now, uh, do not worry if some of the compounds goes between the um, VRAMs. It won't affect anything in any case. Uh, it may get a little bit dirty just around, just a little bit, but not too much. Uh, fortunately there is the captain tape but in any case if any of the thermal compounds goes on the micro circuits nothing is gonna happen because the thermal compound is not electrical candid this is what you should get something like that uh, I haven't put the other um, three and a quarter yet I'm gonna do it in a second just to show you that even if you put like that 
the copper uh, plates won't really slide off because the um, thermal compound is really sticky and as soon as, as, soon as I cut the um, uh, thermal pads and I put them on top there's gonna be like more pressure applied to them more stickiness not sure if it's an English word I'm Italian so I'm not, I'm not entirely sure anyway so nothing should really move inside once you you, you close everything uh, last step is uh, to place the thermal pads half millimeters cut to size on top of the copper and I'm going to cut it to size referring to the um, heavy rams not to the um, copper plates so those ones are the bigger ones uh, one millimeters and half so I'm gonna cut them at the same size and I'm gonna place them roughly where the V rams are I don't care about the copper plates uh, the copper plates I place them in a way that I can track where is the V ram underneath so I can say in any case and the difference would be very small so it really won't affect them if you uh, think to uh, place the uh, one millimeters and a half uh, copper plates instead of the one millimeter and a half thermal pads without using this of course and you should know that you should put a line of uh, uh, thermal compounds here just a straight line a straight line here and a dot here and a dot that in a way that when you place back the heat sink uh, the copper plates on this side can stick in some way to the heat sink without moving too much. If you do this way, the way that I'm doing right now, where I'm using the one millimeter um, copper plates with a um, uh, with the thermal pads, you should not use this. I mean, you should not use this on this side. So you do not combine the two because they may counter each other, if it makes sense. The last step is done. Uh, once you put the thermal pads on the copper plate, you should get uh, something like this. As you can see, um, I did cut um, the thermal pads following the sides of the V-rams, not the copper plates. Also, you may notice on the surface, uh, you see, you can see on the right side, and where you see the little um, holes there, there were some bubbles. Uh, so what I did, I actually used a new blade from a cutter and I just pinch where the bubbles was, just to make sure that the hair uh, goes away. In any case, when you put the um, heat sink on top, uh, the pressure is gonna make the hair to escape and the little hole to, to close it again. So once you close everything, uh, you should not have uh, any problem at all. Now I'm going to uh, repaste uh, the core. I'm going, going to close everything and then I will come back with some results, hopefully.